Willie Mays statue out in front of the ballpark. 24 Willie Mays Plaza. The Mets and the Giants. The final game of the series and of the homestands. Brandon Nemo, center field. Jeff McNeil, second base. Pete Alonso hit a two-run homer last night. Anthony DiScafani on the hill today for the Giants. DiScafani. He is 31 years of age. He's in his eighth year at the big league level. Six feet tall, 200 pounder. Here's DiScafani, and that's all for Nimmo. One away. Oh, that hit him. Ouch. One and two, the count. To the right side and through. Base hit. Lamont Wade charges, keeps McNeil at second base. Right to Bell. Crawford for one. De Stefani covering, but Crawford does not make the throw. And McNeil at third, Conforto at first. And he struck him out swinging. A ball in the dirt to Sally. We'll just go ahead and throw the ball to first, although J.D. Davis wasn't running. Lamont Wade Jr., right field, Tommy LaStella, second base. Chris Bryant back in there at third base. Brandon Belt hits clean up at first. Brandon Crawford at short. On the hill day for the New York Mets will be the right hander Tyler McGill. Big fella, 6'7, 230 pounds out of the University of Arizona. That is knocked out by McNeil. Scrambles, throws. Pulled out of the dirt by Alonzo for the out. I mean, it's 108 miles per hour off the bat of Lamont Wade. This kind of gets caught up in the webs, kicks around, and then very quickly McNeil gets to the bare hand. Wow. Blew it right by him at 95 miles an hour. And he struck him out with a slider to end the inning. He was ready to guy down. That's good late movement. He was ready to cash in on that one. Belt. DiScafani covering. And he corralled that kind of a high throw from Belt. It's a walk for VR. After that last pitch for ball four to VR, there was something noticed in the Giants' dugout, and Dave Greshner, the Giants' trainer and manager, Gabe Kapler, came out to visit with Di Sclafani. And wow, this is an unexpected turn of events. He's going to leave the game. Uh, you watch when he went over and covered, there was a little bit of a hitch in his right leg. Alvarez has been fantastic. What a season he's had. Four and one with a two three three ERA. And he's got it picked off. Wow. <laughs> now that's a pickoff. Yeah, that's a pickoff right there. Struck him out. Inning over. By being out there from Lamont Wade Jr. Shallow left Smith in a hurry and a nice play on a slide with a backhand grab. Then this for the telecast on Friday from Oakland. That one is hit into deep center. Nimmo back. Now he squares up on the track right near the wall. Strike three call. What happened with Anthony DiSclefani is McNeil stands in, rolls it to Crawford, playing second base, inning over. We'll tell you about the report on DiSclefani when we come back. Change up for the strikeout. Launches five, six home runs. That's down the left field line. Dom Smith cuts it off. Dickerson's going to test him. No. After a 40 foot round of first base, he put the brakes on and raced back to first. And Smith did a smart thing, got rid of that ball in a hurry. That one pops in the air and <laughs> popped out of the glove a second time there. Is base hit to left field. But Dickerson started to go back to, to second on that liner. So he was ultra cautious by McNeil on the overshift. They're not in that kind of an overshift now. He drives one down the left field line, slicing into the corner. A fair ball! It stays in play. Dickerson scores. Wilmer to third. A double. 
for Lamont Wade Jr. Right back to the mound. And McGill looked at both Flores at third and then Wade at second. Struck him out. That's the second time he's gotten him with that hard slider. Zach Littell, the new pitcher now for Gabe Kapler. And he has been an absolute jack of all trades coming out of that Giants bullpen. Alonzo, now Crawford's throw in plenty of time. Struck him out 96 miles an hour. You cannot place that fastball in a more perfect place than that. That is right there inside corner above the hands. Strike three call. He walked him. Davis to McNeil at second for the force out on Yaz inning over two and two that is a strikeout for Zach Littell that's how you envision it Ooh. that hit him it's like a changeup Crawford quickly to his right from shallow left makes the quick snap throw to second. La Stella gets the force out on Mazika, inning over. Dickerson coming up. That is strike three. Dickerson retired. It's big when you're, you're talking about the elite pinch hitters, and now just as we talk, he goes to right field and gets a pinch hit. This one hit high in the air. Davis is having some trouble, and it falls. The throw to second is too late. Darren Ruff, some good base running. He get far enough out that he could make it to second when it fell. That hit very hard. There's the, the tag. And they turn it. And the out is recorded at third for Ruff going out of the baseline, and they turn it into an inning ending double play. That one is hit hard. Yastrzemski streaking across the green to cut it off, and he'll hold Nemo to a single, firing it into Crawford at second. Hit softly, belt to Crawford one. Garcia covering first, not in time. Giants by comparison they have 49 steals. Moving to his left, and angling back a bit onto the track, Lamont Wade Jr. Out in shallow right. La Stella throws him out. Inning over. Really great guys. And they threw strikes. And they threw strikes. Bryant into center field. Fairly deep, but it'll stay in the yard. Because he's been very good. But missed with a couple of fastballs there and walks Brandon Bell. Right to Alonzo. To VR for one. Back to first. That is an inning ending double play. Dominic Leon in for the bullpen. Center field, Yaz. Two down. He just moved laterally. Bryant gets back up and just couldn't quite get the ball out of his glove. It's an infield hit, the speedy VR. There goes the runner. And a high pop up. Crawford. He runs it down. Six foot seven inch hard throwing right hander. And 51st time that he's come in. 56 strikeouts in 50 and two thirds innings. Two run shot. Ooh, change up. One away. Good. Two down. Line shot, center field base hit. Heads up. As he could, has an average arm. There he goes. Big chopper to third. It's a fair ball. And Davis throws him out just like that. The inning is over. 58th game that he has come into this year. Three and one. ERA of 2.05. Struck him out. The riser that broke off the outside up above the belt. 
right back at Rogers. I think it hit his glove. He just got him at first. We'll see if he's okay. He may have got him on the right arm. I mean, he kind of cradled the baby when that thing hit right back at his boiler in a bicep. Right to Bryant. Inning is over. He had to throw only one pitch more, and we hope he's okay. A good sign that he was able to stay in. In those 45 and a third, that's a lot. Jake McGee heating up in the bullpen. Strike three called on the outside corner at 98 miles an hour. Right field and Conforto. And Pete Alonzo, a power hitter to lead off against him. Look out, that hit him. And he is in pain. Got him in the elbow. Maybe the tricep. He's got protection there. I don't know if the protection did its job or not. Through their base hit. And Alonzo will go to third with nobody out. Right field. Alonzo tagging up. Yaz's throw. Tie game. Empire had that phantom timeout call. Toward the middle. Crawford shoves it right from the glove to Bryant covering. Wow. There's no way. And uh, Crawford goes on a spear. And how's he going to get it? He glove flips it over to Estella, and they get the force. And immediately, this play starts going into the MVP chant. Strike three called right down the middle. Diaz, 27 years old, is in his fifth year at the big league level. And look at the strikeout, 67. Another pop-up. Davis in foul ground in the coach's box. Very early in the truncated season. And we are going into extra innings. And he, of course, will have to inherit that automatic runner at second base, and that would be Jonathan Villar, the Mets, one of their fastest runners. The bunt. Watson's got it. Over to Bryant, the tag, and he's out! And it wasn't that close. That one is hit well deep into left field. Way back there, it is caught by the leaping Lamont Wade Jr. Two down. Wow. Another great defensive play. That's a base hit in the left center field. Slater, as Mazika stops at second. Nice at bat. La Stella, he trapped it against his midsection. Inning over. Deep right, playable for Conforto. Yaz tags up. And he races over to third. Makes it easily. Look out, that hit him. Oh, and two to count. There goes Slater. Down to the way, so Slater takes second base uncontested. That's a big play. A pop up on the infield. And McNeil. Two down. High in the air. Dom Smith right at the foul line into foul ground. And we will go to the 11th. Neither team able to get that. Automatic runner home. I remember Tyler Chapwood is a guy that used to give them some trouble with the Rockies and later with the Cubs. James has a reliever there. Well, that moves McNeil over to third as La Stella throws out Blankenhorn. That is smoke down the right field line. Off the pillar between the second and third archways. Yaz comes up throwing. Nice throw, but just a bit late. It is 
two to one Mets. Conforto gets the run home. Struck him out. In under the hands at 97 miles an hour. Into deep center. Slater gets there right in front of the wall. And the Giants will have that automatic runner at second and Juris Familia in from the bullpen to try and. Base hit to right field. Wade rounds third. He'll score easily. Conforto throws towards second. Tommy Lestella's first hit of the day in the clutch. Struck him out. 97 mile an hour sink. Familia has only plays to first. So Belt is gone on one pitch. That does move Lestella. And that's it. That's aren't going to mess with him. The automatic walk is given. Struck him out. 98 miles an hour, a little bit off the outside of his strikeout pitch to J.D. Davis in the first inning. That's a fair ball down the left field line. A double for VR, and the Mets are right back ahead, three to two here in the 12th. Foul ball. Struck him out. Oh, that's a great slider right there. Oh, what a difference. Estella gets a piece of it, and that will keep the run from scoring. Well, that in itself made it a good play. Was a Blue Jay earlier this year. And he hits this one deep. Wade all the way back, and this one is gone. And that's a backbreaker. A three run homer for Pilar, and it is five to two, New York. Oh, he always seems to do something against the Giants, and he almost did it in his previous at bat. But you're right, that's a backbreaker. And that's a strikeout of Nimmo. Slater and the pitcher's spot do up. That ball is into the gap in right center field on an 0 2 pitch. Yaz digs it out, and it's a double for McNeil. And his pinch hitting for Familia. And he rips it into the right field corner. That's a fair ball into the first archway. And the Mets add on. Six to two, New York. McNeil into score. Third extra base hit of the inning. That's all for Conforto. But a four run rally for the Mets. And uh, you're going to see good velocity from that sidearm delivery. I mean, he's mid 90s with his velocity. One away. Slater into center field. Nimmo started in now, quickly goes back. Yaz tags up at second and moves over to third. And the game is over. The Mets beat the Giants in 12 innings, 6 to 2. And for the Giants, who nonetheless take the series.